Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer, and welcome back to another vlog. Um, this was an unintended vlog, so uh, in case you have not read the title, I started making content strategies, and let me tell you guys what I was doing. So, it was, um, basically, it was quite interesting. This came at an interesting time, a very, very good time. So, back in December of 2018, last year, my friend and I were setting up to film a whole bunch of stuff for my place that I work at. So we were getting ready and we're like, okay, the, I think it was like a Thursday, but like Thursday we're going to film these things. Well, then the power went out and it went out for a long time where I live. And then she got sick and Christmas break happened. Like we were supposed to have about 13 or 15 videos or something, something crazy like that. 10, I don't know, like a double digit amount of videos ready to edit over Christmas break, right? So it's okay. I'm sitting there over Christmas break. I had a really weak Christmas in terms of content just because I didn't make anything. So then in comes January. And it was January of like 7th or something like that, 7, 8, 9, somewhere around those numbers. And a video from a creator that I watched called Roberto Blake came up and it was about a content strategy. Now I know what a content strategy is and I hadn't really watched a video on it. And I decided that day I had been really not been making videos at all. Like I'd been doing the whiteboard, you know, I had a whiteboard. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna record two videos today. I'm gonna do this today. And I was kind of getting productive. So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna watch this video, take notes on it and do it. I'm just gonna do it. So I watched this video on a content strategy and I set up a content strategy of like something like 60 pieces of content for January or maybe 40 or something, something like that to where it was, I was making two a day and having the list of stuff in front of me to then just check off boxes like thumbnail, 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 thumbnail. Like I would sit down. Like I didn't need a, I, I, this monthly plan, right? For January, like I sat down and like those new builds, right? I just recorded all 10 of them in a day. And then I sat down another day and recorded all 10 gameplays. And I'd be like, ooh, I don't have the gameplay for this. I got 15 minutes before I go to work or whatever, or get ready to go to work. Let me just pop in a couple recording sessions here. Live streams, done this done, 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 you know, and all of a sudden I'm making time to get the live streams ready to publish because I really didn't publish live streams and now I am. And it's like crazy how much more stuff I got done, you know, instead of maybe uploading seven to 14 videos a week, right? Which is one to two videos a day. I'm sitting here simply creating about three videos worth of stuff a day, maybe a little less, because at the end of January, uh, I had something like 14, 16 pieces of content that have not been uploaded or published, I should say, just ready to go. And I'm getting a lot of stuff done. I'm sitting here and I'm like, okay, what do I want to make? You know, I said like 18 Oblivion videos. What am I going to do? Well, 10 of them are going to be the new builds and eight of them are going to be live streams or something, something, you know, like that. And I can plan out series. Like I started a new series on Skyrim called Skyrim skill analysis. I'm like, okay, what can I do in Skyrim? That's a new series. And I can also throw in some Skyrim videos about, you know, the caves one, you know, I can look at the data, plan out more than just what videos ideas can I come up today and then record them all. And like, you know, I'm still getting in the process of uploading them, you know, in a correctish order, but I can plan ahead of time. And I'm planning ahead of time, just, just in January alone. Okay. Um, a day for me, I remember this day. It was a day where I live streamed twice. I think I recorded two videos and I did something like made a thumbnail or recorded two clips of gameplay. That was on a bad day. Okay, a bad day, that was like a decent to good day for me 
last month and the month before, November, December. A bad day in November, December is I'm not going to do anything today. I only had done a, quote, I'm not going to do anything today day in January if I had like an 8 or 12 hour type work day where I had to like, it was like an extra work day where I had to like go to a different city to a meeting or something like that. Like I had to do that, right? The thing, like the last, I'm not going to do anything today for YouTube was a Saturday. I got up at six, left the house at 7.30, came home around six, seven or eight. You know, like that's the kind of day where it's, I don't want to do anything today. Not, I ruined my day yesterday, so I'm not going to do anything today. Like even Sunday, Sunday was an interesting day. Sunday, I was like, I'm not going to do anything today. It's Sunday. I need to enjoy myself. And like seven rolled around and I'm like sitting here. I'm like, I got to get something done. And I turned on my computer and like filled out. I don't remember what I filled out, but I filled out a couple things. Like I, I got some stuff done. It was great. So I've just been so much more productive. I've had a plan and I think the plan really like there's the creative and the productive part, right? I gotta come up with video ideas. I gotta come up with thumbnail ideas. I gotta come up with how I'm gonna record stuff. But if I have a plan, right, a detailed plan, I can time budget everything in my, like I can keep track of how long something's gonna be in my head. Like I can do all of that. And I can be like, okay, I wanna work on like my, I have four Battlefield 5 videos planned. I wanna work on them. Okay, what do I need to do? Well, this one's gonna be about this gun. This is just a hypothetical. It's gonna be about the Lewis gun, the VGO, and the M42, or the, the, what do you call it? The LMG and MG42, right? So we have the Lewis gun, the VGO, and the MG42. I don't know what to talk about with them. That's fine. Just go record the gameplay for them and figure it out. Make the thumbnail, figure it out. And then, I'll, like, I'll be like, okay, gameplays. And then I'm like, oh, I need an extra Battlefield 5 for this video. Let me just record that real quick. Then I'm like, let's make these three thumbnails. Let's record these videos. I got 10 minutes. Let me make a Oblivion video. Bam, right there. Film it. So <clears throat> just having a detailed plan helps. It's not that I haven't had a plan before. I've had days where I have a list, right? I'm like, okay, like a piece of, where is it? A piece of paper like this. And it's just video, 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 video. It's all the way down. Okay, video ideas all the way down, and I'm just like, I want to film this one today, and 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 then I get it done. But with the content strategy, I'm like, okay, this is gonna be planned out. This is what needs to get done. This is how it's gonna be effective, and it's just like, like a different list. Like this is now it's like you can see I have stuff written down. I have stuff in boxes. Stuff. Um, here's a. Let me do some check marks somewhere. I can't, it's not focused, but there's check marks and just different things that help me know where I'm at and get stuff done. And to see the end result, to get through January uploading one to two videos a day. Sometimes I had a day where I uploaded three things and sit here and look at almost a full page of unlisted or private or unpublished things. It's just so nice. It's amazing what it does to you. It makes amazing how it makes you feel. It makes me feel like I'm doing something and that I have time to do more things. I just have more planned out time. And you know, now if I need to slow down in February, I can slow down in February or build up so I can take, I could probably, if I really wanted to, which I don't want to, because I've done this, I've taken breaks before and I hated, I hated my breaks at the end of them, but I could take a full break in March if I really tried. If I stretched it out to one video a day, I could set up so all of March I'm not making anything, which would suck. I would hate that so much. So, you know, it just, it helps to plan out my content to see, you know, I can change complete things. I'm not set on just, I have to make a Skyrim video. I don't, I'm not set on that. You know, I have enough video. I had too many video ideas for January. I didn't even get all my video ideas done. Like I still have to make a beginner's guide to civilization six. I have a video about hexagons in civilization six. 
I think I have some other videos on DTube. Like, I was getting DTube stuff done, too. Like, I made, like I said, two to three videos a day if you add it all up. There's some days I made more, some days I made less. But just the planning out, like, I can make a whole Oblivion build series and then does it work? Yes. Like, I got lucky the noobs worked, the noob builds worked. Or, you know, because I didn't research that ahead of time. But I'm like, okay, the noob builds, I have all ten of them ready to go. Then, you know, it's working. I can make work on my other Skyrim series, make it a little bit better than I thought. You know, these Skyrim thumbnails, I knew that I was going to make that into it. I knew ahead of time I was going to make that into a series. So then, unlike the Oblivion videos where I kind of freestyled all the new build thumbnails, I took the Skyrim series, and you guys are going to see this the more of these that come out. And I made, I spent like one or two hours on a thumbnail just f to put on all the Skyrim videos. Like, it's very prevalent. Like, it's a, it's like a style. And I knew it was going to be serious. I was going to stick with it and make it better. And I just... It's exciting. It's exciting to have a more detailed checklist and execute on it. I thought I wasn't going to get all my stuff done in January. I almost got everything done. You know, I, more streams... You know, I kind of figured out, hey, if I am bored in a day and there's like a day where I feel like garbage, I'm going to do a live stream and I'm going to feel better. And it worked. And then I look at my list. I'm like, you know, there's a lot of stuff that I need to get done on this list because this is all has to get done, by the way, before February, before March 1st. Right. So I have this list. Okay, here's the list. And I'm like, I gotta get all this stuff done before March 1st. That doesn't worry me. And then I'm like, you know what? Let's record the gameplay for this one Oblivion video, right? And I'm like, let's do this one thing. And this only works because this all has a deadline on it. Before, I could write a whole list of video ideas down and there's no deadline. There's just, you know, video ideas. Get them done whenever you want to, Jared. Now it's like, okay, you're gonna get all this, all this stuff done before March 1st, before April 1st, before May 1st. And it works. It's the content strategy, really the biggest thing I added was the deadline. The deadline just amazing for me. And if I don't get it done, I don't worry about it because making two or three videos a day, I mean, if I think about what I'm doing, that I spend probably six hours a day on this type of stuff. Literally a two hours, of, uh, hour and a half for streaming, Gameplay, video ideas, this, that, you know, so it's a lot of time and it just makes spending that time easier. Like I can't stress enough how much this content strategy has made it easier for me to make stuff and to just be like, I have to get this done before the, you know, first, I got a little bit of energy left. Let's do this one thing. That's what the deadline added was all those times where I'm like, ah, I just got to do one more thing. I did so much of that, just one more thing, that I got more stuff done. So guys, that's what I wanted to make this vlog about. And I want to touch on something real quick in this vlog. I know I said one time I wanted to go daily. Not the case. I hate vlogging now. I actually hate vlogging, like, every single day. I hate it now. You know, so this vlog is not going to be, you know... I've, I've tried vlog of a small YouTuber. I've tried vlogging. I think I have not made a format that I like to vlog in yet. You know, I just, I just, I don't know what it is about vlogging, but I, I, I'm just thinking about all of the things that I've done over the years, right? I think it was what, one time I'm like, every two weeks I make a vlog and update you guys. Then I've done, oh, I don't like vlogs because it seems egotistical. Let's make vlog of a small YouTuber. It's a catalog of, you know, let's make YouTube tricks. I get rid of those. Let's make the, the casual vlog, you know, it's. I think I just don't like vlogging or maybe it's just boring to me. I don't know. I don't like, I don't know. So, I mean, I'll make these every once in a while now. I like just, I like the community tab. It's amazing. Wish YouTube would notify me of comments on it though. And I wish that, and I like that just making a vlog when something cool happens, right? It's hard actually. I'm going to say, I was challenged at how hard it was. I was like, I'm just going to film what I'm doing. What am I doing today? Editing. What am I doing today? Editing. What am I doing today? Editing. 
What am I doing today? Filming. Oh, what am I doing today? Research. <laughs> like, making that and just, just simply documenting it is kind of difficult to do for me. I don't know why. Just documenting what I do. Strange to me. We'll see how that goes. I might like vlogging sometime when I'm like 80 years old and dying and being like, let me tell you about my life. Even though it's all on the camera. So, that's it for this vlog. I hope you enjoyed. It's just uh, what I'm doing. Content strategy. I'm enjoying it. Producing a lot of stuff. It's great. I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. There's no outro for this. I'm just, I'm just going straight into the outro. I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at vlogging and gaming. And I will see you in the next episode stream vlog or Steam It post of whatever I decide to make.